Okay. Um, hey guys, this is uh, I wrote you guys like a really long email, sort of um, with tips about how to do this uh, Aegis sub thing. Just like I've already finished my translation project, and um, uh, this is this is technically aimed at my Japanese class because we're uh, doing a translation project. But I guess I'm gonna put this on YouTube, so anyone that's watching can like follow along and uh, and you know do it with us. But um. Uh, this is just like a tip on how to make it go faster, because like if you do it the way we did with the the guy who taught us the class, you open it up and you like do it line by line in the program, it's pretty slow. I'll just uh, I'll try to make it as you know easy as possible for you guys to understand. Um, so the first thing you want to do is actually not open the Aegis sub program. I mean, obviously, first thing you want to do is download Aegis sub like from online. But uh, the first thing you want to do is open like a Notepad thing, right? Um, I guess Windows, uh, Microsoft Word works too, but you want to store it as a text file, not as a, like a dot, uh, dot X file or whatever. Um, the reason you want to do this is you want to focus first on, um, oh, sorry. So the, you want to focus first on translation, not timing. You're going to leave timing for later. Timing means like actually taking the, uh, the subtitles and uh, making sure that they line up with the talking. Um, first thing you want to do is just look at your video and make an English translation out of it. Um, so open up Notepad, have your video here, just open it in whatever video uh, viewing file that you have. Um, and, uh, and all you will need to do is create line, type out like English, English, English translations of what they're saying line by line. So like, hi, hello. What's up? I don't know. You know that kind of thing. Just breaking it with um, enter after every one. So let's take a look at my video right here. We just hit play. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get through it. So you know the So it's like um, the next topic is this. That's terrible translation, but you know that's like what you want to do. Next topic is this, and then he goes on and he says stuff like you know. Um, well, that's giving away spoilers, I guess, for my uh, my presentation, but uh, I'm sure those will come up in this anyway. Anyway, you know what I mean, right? Just, oh my god, I, Leo, I don't want to take a break right now. Sorry, guys. Um, it's for my health. Um, <laughs> uh, too much looking at screens. The next topic. So, anyway, yeah, right. So you have, you're going to make right here um, a script, and I already did that because... So, sorry, ignore like all this mess that was me trying stuff in the beginning. Get rid of all this. All you want is just, you don't want to worry about the timing of it. You just want to like play your video, pause, pause your video after they say that. Okay, what did they say? Write it down in English. Do that for the entire video until you have something like what I have here, which is just an English script for your video. Pretty simple. That's what you want to focus on. Very first thing, translation. Right? Um, and you can always go back in and add lines later. So don't worry too much about like, you know, if you've seen people are talking at the same time, focus on what's important. Get an English script down. Just separate it with enters um, for each line that you'd like to see in, like, this would be a line in the subtitles right here, you know? Um, that's the easy part. Well, it's actually the most time-consuming part, but it's also the easiest part. So once we have that and we save it as a text file, like you can see right here, uh, file save as, make sure it's dot text file. You know, save it as we call it whatever you want. First step. Second step: open up Aegis Sub. Um, you know, not having imported any video or any audio yet, you want to go to File, Open Subtitles. Ooh, slow there. Okay. So, just search through your computer, find the script, or, you know, your, your, your text file that you just made um, with the English translation. Open it. It's going to bring up this text import options thing, right? Um, one thing that you can do, let me just make a, uh, a new notepad right here so I can show you just an example here. Actor separator. I didn't need this because I had, like, tons of people talking at once, but if you have just, like, two people or something, or if you, like, I don't know, if you want to... I really honestly don't know the benefit of this, but you can do like, Paul said, hey, Wendy said, yo, 
you can do that. You can have the actor beforehand, and it won't. I don't think it'll like put it actually in the text. It'll just it helps you with like separating. I don't really get it. If you want to do that, go for it. And if you do, you're gonna have the actor separator be probably a colon because it's the thing that separates the actor from what they say. I didn't do that. I just chose a symbol that had absolutely nothing. It was definitely not in my script, so I didn't want to mess anything up. We'll do the percent symbol, because I definitely didn't type that. Don't save that. Comment starter, ignore it, doesn't even matter. Include blank lines, that's if you, I guess you made extra spaces with the enter key. Uh, probably don't need that, because again, you can add lines later. So hit OK. Right, boom. Pulls it in, each different line is a different subtitle. Right here, check it out, there's no times. That's what we're going to do now. Um, so now, open video. Choose the video that you know you just translated. Open it up. This is like we just did in class. Um, go to audio. Open audio from video. It's going to take a second. Make that waveform. That's when I say if I say waveform, that's what I'm talking about. It's uh, it's this thing. It uh, gives you a little visual um, of uh, of what we got here. Okay, let me just check something real quick. It is not save when I restarted my computer. Okay, I just had a picture of the keyboard because the next step is we're gonna figure it. We're gonna time it. We're gonna take all of these, right? All of these uh, subtitles here that we just made. We're gonna make sure that they line up with when the person's saying stuff in the video. We're actually gonna pretty much ignore this whole uh, t video part of the, um, the screen and just focus on this this audio part. Um, and we'll look at the video later. To, you know, make, when we're all done. To make sure that it's uh, well, you can do that. I'm not gonna get, walk you through every bit of this, but uh, I'll walk you through how to get you started. First step: take your right hand, put it on your mouse. Easy enough. Left hand. Okay. Put your pinky on the S key. Uh, so S, D, F, and G. That's where you want your fingers, and I'm gonna explain what each of those does, right? So I'll send out an email just to um you know, remind you, and you can look at that, but S, okay, so, when you select a part of your video, right, if you hit the space bar, <laughs> it plays the selection, so you can use your, um, it, it plays it from the red, which is the start of where, like, the subtitle is gonna be, to the blue, which is the end of where the subtitle is gonna appear, um, and if you press spacebar, it plays from the red to the blue. If you press S, it plays from the red to the blue. So that's what S does. It just hit, it starts play from the red, goes until the end of the selection. I just hit this. D, so you basically you use S when you want to figure out where to put this red, right? Okay, so it's right there. Yeah, that's about where he starts talking. So we'll just start, put the red right there. What about the end? At the end, it goes a little far. So that's what you use D for. D plays the end. Um, Plays like the last little clip here. I'll press D right now to show you. <laughs> right? It doesn't actually, uh, didn't sound like much because I didn't have the right portion selected. You're going to use D to figure out where to put this blue thing because you can hear the very end of it. <laughs> that was, still wasn't words. Des. Ah, but there it was. Cochira des. So, um, by pressing D, you can figure out, like, you plays the last bit of it, you can figure out where to put this, uh, this blue thing. Um, and basically, we've selected the right portion for this first line, which is the next theme is. That's all you have to do. Press S. I just press S again to uh, double check that it's the right one. All right, it is. Then what we do is, okay, so let's say this was a really long thing, and I'll tell you what F does. F, watch, I'm going to press F right now. Kind of hard to uh, see what it did because um, uh, of uh, the selection and how small it was. But I'm going to press A, which goes back, because what F does, F just moves this to the right. It scrolls, right? Let's choose a big selection right here, yeah? Um, just to just show you what I, what I mean. F, if I press it, it moves it forward, moves it forward, moves it forward, moves it forward. It can be nice, because you don't have to use this little weird scrolly thing, which can accidentally scroll too far. Um, and it just makes things faster. A, so I press F a bunch, A brings it back. So I can go, oh, I accidentally went press pressed F too much. Go back. Right? So I think we had it uh, selected from right, right here. I'm going to press S again to double check. <laughs> Boom. It's good. When it's good, you can't just click to the next one down here, right?
because it doesn't save. That's what he was talking about um, with, uh, you can know, when you were typing in here, you uh, would press enter to like uh, finalize it or save it. But because we're not actually going to type in here, you really don't want to click in here if you can help it. If you do click in there, these buttons, the S and the D and the F, they won't work. You have to double click again on the subtitle down here to make them do things besides typing. Um, so let me just show you, like, if I accidentally click in here, oh no, I'm pressing like S to play, it's not working, spacebar doesn't play either. Undo all that, double click down at the bottom. <laughs> now S works, right? Um, so uh, actually, hold on. Okay, sorry, I just had to split it just my, the video was getting a little long for my computer. All right, so we pressed S, now you know you can double click down here to uh, select it so you can press S again. So we're done, we finished it, we got the right selection chosen, we press G. G does the same thing as enter. It finalizes it and it saves our changes. If you don't press G and you move on to the next one, it's not gonna save, and you need it to save. And the way that you double check that it saves is that these things right here, the start time and the end time, they uh, they, they change. What it'll do is it's gonna make this the subtitle and it'll start your next one starting at this blue one. So watch, I'm gonna press G right now. Wait, what? There, sorry, didn't work at first. I had to uh, double click on here again. So see what it just did? The start time for this one um, changed and the end time changed too. And what it did is it, set, it selected the next one for us, which is an awesome, and it started it immediately afterwards. Handy, right? So you can now grab the red and the blue, and it, it automatically starts at where the uh, last one ended, in case there's a lot going on. Um, but the next step, it's really simple. Leave your fingers on those four keys, press S again. <laughs> okay, so it didn't start off at the right place exactly, yeah? So I think you can see it with the waveform. It's probably about right here. I'm going to press S again to check, and then I'm going to press stop to, uh, to stop it from playing the whole thing. Ah. See? So it's actually not. That was the sound. That was like the, the music. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. Again, I'm just pressing S here to figure out the beginning. That's about right. Ichiban Ichiosuru. That's my topic. Um, what countries have the most sex? It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, right? And then press the, the stop button to stop it. Um, I'm going to press the D again to figure out where the end goes. That was not quite. It's, I think it's like. Don't 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 or don't 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 That's about right. Um, again, I was just pressing D to figure that out. I'm gonna press F to move forward a little bit now. That's about you know it's just sort of the next one's gonna be right here, and I found the right spot for this. I'm gonna press G. Again, saves the times right here, and then uh, it moves. So then I can double click. You know, if you accidentally click back here, you can like if you double click each one, it's gonna show you up here where you selected the, the subtitle. Double click that, shows you right here. Double click this next one, it should be, ah, okay, I didn't, I didn't save it. So I go back to this and I press G, it moves on to the next one, right? That's all you do, that's all you do. For the whole thing, you go through, you select, okay, I want this space and this space, or I want, you know, that space. That's the right uh, text, I'm gonna press S to double check. <laughs> Okay, it's not actually the right space, but you know what I mean. And then once you have it, you press G. You do the same thing. You don't even need to type anything. You don't need to, you know, you just select, you play it, you make sure it's the right spot. You can drag this off to the side to make it longer, or you can press F to move it. Um, and you press S again, you double check, and you go just through the subtitles that you already have and just time them all. And then you can go, you can play the video. Look, and it's already timed up. You don't, you know, it's just, that's the fastest way that I found to do it. And I'm already done. It took me like a couple hours, maybe. Not that much. I split it up into like half an hour segments. And it's really easy to split up too. If you just say, okay, I'm going to watch a little bit, I'm going to translate it. And then after you translate it, you can say, okay, I'm going to sit down and time a little bit. So translate it first, time it. I mean, if you have any questions, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, talk to me in person or I'll, I'll meet up with you and uh, help you out. But I hope that was helpful because I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah.